Hey guys, Moki here with another mukbang. I did already start only on my fries. I am at McDonald's. Of course, where the fuck else do I be mukbanging besides McDonald's? Uh, you can see the first half on TikTok. All I've dumped into is my fries with my barbecue sauce because you can't go wrong with it. They are hot and fresh. Very lightly salted, but that's okay. Did I ask for that? No, bitch. I want the salts. I want the cholesterol. Even though my cholesterol is already high. So, a few things I want to talk about. I'm just kind of diving right on in here because coming from TikTok video. Pride is this weekend. Well... You're seeing this a couple weeks out, actually. But still, the day of recording Pride is this weekend. And very much looking forward to going because have not been in a decade. It has been 10 years. Now, for my local bitches and be like, bitch, you was at Pride last year. I was at just the... Louisville Pride or the Bargetown Road Pride, which is in September. This is Pride Month. This is the Worldwide Pride, right? So this is the Kentuckiana Pride, and I have not been to that in 10 years. In case I had a uh, chin check somebody. And even then, when I went last year to the local Pride, that was my first time at Pride in almost 10 years. But anyway, Take a bite of my sandwich. Let me rip this off. Sorry, it's in cinematic view, so it's going to be messy. Mm. I say messy, but I just mean blurry. Got me a double cheeseburger here. Okay, because these are the fucking OGs. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm like all up on my steering wheel. The taste of a fucking cheeseburger, double cheeseburger, is amazing. Get a triple cheeseburger, it change your life. Anyway. Rarely, if ever, has um, this Pride ever sold out. It's n never been like that. It's fucking Pride. You should just be able to go if you want to go, because it's Pride. It has a cause, right? <laughs> Well, this year they fucking sold out as of yesterday, which was completely fucking just devastating and really just depressing because I have literally been looking forward to this for over a month. Got a new outfit for it. Took off work for it, like literally planned for it. The only thing I did not do was buy my tickets in advance because you've never had to fucking really do that before. You can buy them online or get them at the gate. Well, I was so set for this. <coughs> Damn, a piece of fry went down the wrong way. I was so set for this. I invited my cousin, which I invited a lot of my cousins because they're all grown now so it's like y'all come experience this shit with me but my main focus was my cousin Haley because she just graduated high school like at the beginning of this month June and I wasn't able to go because her graduation was on a fucking weekend and of course I work weekends third shift so it just it there was no way Plus, she lives out of the city. Like, if she was in city, we could have worked that out. But it's like an hour away she lives. So I was like, bitch, I'm going to take you to Pride to make up for it because I'm going to Pride this year. And she's never been. So that's what made it really just fucking devastating for me. It's like, bro. Like, this... If I missed Pride, yes, it still would have been disappointing, but... I could have found a way in for myself, you know, or just not gone at all. But it's the fact that I tried to include her and then this shit happens. It's like, bro, it's like two fucking, it's like two stabs in the back. Mm.
And that's a horrible um, saying because I didn't stab her in the back. But you know what the fuck I mean. Like, that just, it's like a double slap to the face. There you go. But, I mean, I'm so honored to have the connections I have. I'm pretty sure I got me and her in the door. I'm pretty sure I got me and her in the door. I will know soon. But it's still just devastating. And it's not the end of the world. Like, even if we can't get in, you know, like, I'm obviously going to just skip Pride this year and do something else with her. Because my main focus is, like, giving her that time because I was unable to miss her graduation. So, and I did tell her about the one in September, too. She's like, oh, but I might be in college by then, you know. And I'm like, bitch, you stay in a state. It's only a couple hours away. We can do it. We can do it. But anyway, so really just like devastating about that. Like I found that out last night because a friend re reached out and told me. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? I probably just sat in the bed and sulked for like a good hour. But during the sulking, I was still hitting up people that I could have like, yo, what's tea? Help a bitch out. So I'm pretty sure I got the help. I'll know later today or tomorrow, but nonetheless, just like a uh, moment. Because, I mean, you see my shit. One thing about me, I'm gay all year round. I'm colorful all year round. I'm very prideful all year round. I don't need the month of June to tell me. But it's just the fact that literally the last time I went was like 2013 or 14. It may have been longer than that. I remember who I went with, but... And we were drinking, so I was at least 21, at least, or 20, and we snuck that shit in because we're bad bitches. So that would have been 2012, 2013. Yeah, a long time. A long time. And I went with my dude, so it had to been 2012. That That's just crazy. A long time. And if that's the case, that's 12 years. That's a long time since I've been to Pride. So... You know, I was really looking forward to going this year. Because I look good. I feel good. I feel good, which makes me look good. Which was one of my main reasons. Like, fuck it. Let me go and just be me. But that's alright. You know what? It is what it is. Because I can do that shit in September. And hopefully I can take my cousin. But the downfall is, now I have to tell my three other cousins, like, y'all ain't going. Even if I get me and Haley in, y'all can't go. Unless they are, for some reason, selling tickets at the door. Which I don't think they will, because I messaged them themselves. Like, the event of Kentuckiana. And I'm like, how the fuck y'all even do this? We're at full capacity, bitch. Full capacity, eat my ass. But anyway. You know, so it's still devastating, even if I get me and her in because I'm letting down three others but they'll be okay because two out of the other three one of them's her sib her sibling so that's going to be a tough one because they're also out of state but I can still get them to go to the September one as well if they want to go and then the other two are local so I can definitely get them in in September that's no big deal but because how I'm getting these tickets, I'm like, I'm lucky if I can get two. Like, that's how crazy it is. I'm lucky if I get two. If it was just me, I could easily get in. But because I need two, me and Haley, it's like, I'll see what I can do. Like, that's how fucking weird it is. Pride has never been like that. It, it's so weird to me. It's so weird. But hey, times have changed. So I guess 12 year difference will do that. But anyway, got my panties in a motherfucking bunch and got my pussy hot and not the good kind of hot. So anyway, there's that. I should have known when, first of all, my outfit took over a fucking month to get to me. And then when they finally, because I had to write them and cuss them out because bitch, where's my shit? Y'all selling Pride stuff for Pride Month, but we in the middle of Pride Month and you ain't shipping no one shit yet. So they ship mine expeditiously. But only the top and no bottoms. And I'm like, that was my telltale sign right there. 
That was my telltale sign. I should have just bought them fucking tickets. But I just, I didn't think it was going to be a fucking turn into like a, uh, an event at the fucking Freedom Hall. Oh, I'm really showing my age there. At the KFC Yum Center. You know, where if you don't get your tickets, you're missing the fuck out. And it's just crazy to me. It's crazy to me. As you can tell, I'm still hot about it. And even if I get in, I'll still be hot about it. Because it's just crazy. It's never been like that. But, very grateful. Ooh. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> um, very grateful nonetheless. Even if I can't get in, even if the, the, my people cannot make it happen, I'm still very grateful and honored that they tried because they didn't even have to try. They don't even have to try and pull these strings for me. So, you know, the fact that they're just even going out of their way to try is... I'm very thankful for that. But I really just want to go and pop my pussy. That's all I really wanted to do. But it's alright. There's always next year. Lesson learned. I really can't be mad at no one but myself. Now I know. Buy them fucking tickets in advance. Ooh. <laughs> He's cute. Mm. You think he would let me eat the rest of my hamburger? I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> you think he would let me eat the rest of my hamburger from between his ass cheeks? Because I would do it. I sure I would. And don't give a fuck. Mm. So I said a couple things, but really that's the only thing. I don't think I get to do pride. Well, I don't know. I know I don't get to do pride how I had planned to do pride. You know, that's really it. And that's okay. Life be like that. Are those the tornado sirens? Is it Tuesday? Second Tuesday of the month? Uh-huh. They so ghetto. Mm-mm-mm. Listen, I dogged that shit up. That shit was good. Fries empty, too. Y'all saw me take the... Mm-hmm. Yup. Yup, show dear. Oh, that was good. Tap the fuck out of this Dr. Pepper because I swear they put crack in it. This shit is crack. I am trying to tell y'all, I can't stand you simple-minded hoes who come to McDonald's and talk about, can I get a sweet tea or a Coke? Get the fucking Dr. Pepper. Even if you don't like Dr. Pepper, McDonald's Dr. Pepper is on another fucking level. I can't stand a fountain Dr. Pepper from anywhere except McDonald's. Because they motherfucking formula be formulating. It be formulating. It's crisp. It's crunchy. <laughs> it's tangy. It's... Mm. Matter of fact, bitch, I ain't get enough. Oh, it be burping. <clears throat> got me feeling like I'm part of uh, Willy Wonka on the Chocolate Factory when they drink all the stuff and then they got to burp their way down because they floating. Mm -hmm. That's what it feel like. <laughs> anyway, that is it. That is all I wanted to eat and bitch about pride. I got a burp. I don't know if I want to do it on camera or not. I'm going to do it on camera. It's coming. Ugh. Ooh, that felt good. Now I'm going to uh, turn my cord back on and get this AC going because they get my pussy hot. 
My pussy hot and my pussy hot. Okay, it can't be no double hot. That's mm, 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 mm. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Mokey Owls. Bye.